day everyone! As we have studied in the previous videos on how to determine continuity of functions at a number and on an interval, let us try to solve some problems involving these concepts. For example, number 1, a rectangular field is to be enclosed with 400 meters of fencing material. Let x be the length of the field. Express the area of the field in terms of x and identify its domain. Determine if it is continuous on its domain. Let x be the dimensions of the rectangular field. Since the field will be enclosed by 400 meters of fencing materials, it follows that the perimeter is 400 meters. Applying x and y in the dimensions, we will have p equals 2x plus 2y. And since the perimeter is equal to 400, then the equation will become 400 equals 2x plus 2y. From this equation, solving for y, we will have y equals 200 minus x. With this, we can now illustrate the rectangular field with dimensions x and 200 minus x. Moreover, remember that the area of a rectangle is equal to the product of its dimensions. With this, area will be equal to x times 200 minus x, which is equal to 200x minus x squared when simplified. And since x and 200 minus x represents the dimensions of a rectangle, the value of the variable x cannot be a negative number nor greater than 200. Thus, the domain of the function is the closed interval 0, 200. Since the area is represented by a polynomial function with the domain of the interval 0, 200, Remember that the polynomial function is always continuous on any number within its domain. Thus, the area is continuous on its domain, 0, 200. For problem number 2, a museum offers a promo on its guest. If the group of guests consists of 50 or less persons, each ticket will cost 55 pesos each. If the group has more than 50 persons but less than 100, each ticket will cost 50 pesos each. Finally, if the group consists of more than 100 persons, then each ticket will cost 45 pesos each. Write the function that represents the total amount of the tickets P in terms of the number of guests X. Let X be the number of guests and P be the price of the tickets. Based on the problem, if there are 50 or less guests, the total amount of the tickets will be 55X. If there are 50 guests but less than 100, then the total amount will be equal to 50X. If there are more than 100 guests, the total amount will be equal to 45x. Thus, the function of the total amount of tickets represents a piecewise function defined by P is equal to 55x if x is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 50, 50x if x is greater than 50 but less than or equal to 100, and 45x if x is greater than 100. The illustration shows the graph of the piecewise function p of x. Notice from the graph that there is a discontinuity at x equals 50 and x equals 100. And thus, it forms a jump or essential discontinuity. With this, we can claim that the function represented by the total amount of tickets forms a discontinuous function. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will discuss about the tangent line and introduction on derivatives. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next video.